National carrier Kenya Airways is seeking to be granted a concession to operate, maintain and develop the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport for a period of 30 years. This is one of the revelations that came up during a press briefing at which the Kenya Airports Authority's Managing Director Johnny Anderson announced various dates of, for engagement with the public on the sensitive matter. Here's Alex Mwangi with more details about the concessional plan. Late last year, the Kenya Airports Authority received a privately initiated investment proposal from Kenya Airways requesting that the airline be granted a 30-year concession to operate the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. KAA's board thereafter appointed Transaction Advisors, MMC Africa Law, to provide insight on the viability of the project. If it goes through, the concession will make Kenya Airways operate on a more equal footing with its regional rival, Ethiopian Airlines. I think you find in several countries where you have a partnership between airlines and airports. We can mention Qatar, Doha. We can also look at uh, Emirates, uh, where, where you have it. You can also look at uh, Ethiopia, uh, where you also have, uh, what can I say, kind of a close partnership. Given the status of Kenya Airways, which is currently loss-making and reducing its losses on a year-to-year -year basis, the managing director of the Kenya Airports Authority had this to say about the proposed marriage between Kenya Airways and KAA as far as finances are concerned. In this proposal, the PIIP, Kenya Airways PLC has proposed to form a special purpose vehicle. An SPV is a subsidiary of a company which is protected from the parent company's financial risk. It's a separate company under the other one. The Kenya Airports Authority will hold public forums within the next month to seek views on the proposal by KQ. The forums will be held in Kisumu, Eldoret, Mombasa, Wajia, Lodwa and Nairobi from the end of this month till mid-February. Under the partnership, Kenya Airways will take over all the staff and operations of KAA at JKIA, thereby expanding its services to ground handling, maintenance, cargo, warehousing and catering. Alex Mwangi, NTV.